Hey everybody, um, Stephen Joy here. Uh, I've been threatening to do an unboxing, some unboxing videos for a while now, so finally getting around to it. I play a lot of this uh, Mass of Darkness, and uh, I enjoy watching these unboxing videos myself, so I've got a bunch of stuff to open up, so I just thought I'd do a bunch of uh, a bunch of the videos. I like them just because it gives me a chance to see what's uh, what I'm getting into before uh, before I buy something or whatever. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, you probably know I play a lot of this game. I really like I really like it. It's kind of just a board game where you DMless, you can run around and conquer things. Uh, this is just an expansion box for it. It uh, comes with some extra minis and monsters and some cards and stuff like that so yeah so it's by uh, CMON I don't know how you say that so whatever I ordered these so uh, a while ago so yeah here we go I'll just uh, open it up I guess I don't really need yeah I do need a knife this is where you do damage to it right <laughs> really carefully there we go all right certain satisfaction in opening up a new box of toys right so I have not seen what's in here yet obviously because it's still open or unopened but uh, there we go the Reptosaurians and uh, let's see what's inside here we've got uh, Ooh, look at that. Fancy cards. That's always nice. These are, whoops, these are for the rules of the game or whatever. New, uh, new monster dudes and whatever. So, once again, I don't have, uh, yeah, yeah, I cringe too when I do that, but what do you do? <laughs> this is for playing, not collecting. So, uh, one thing I really like about this game is I like the minis. So, uh, what have I got here? I've got the, uh, Reptosaurians. That's hard for me to re remember. And this is a, uh, Bollywog Bali Gunners. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that alright. I hope so. Bollywog Gunners. And then a, uh, Reptosaurian warriors. You know, I, I've got another. I've got another set of these that I that I got, and I've played a couple games where you have yet to run into any of them, and they're in the deck. Uh, it was the uh, it's like some rat guys or something. Uh, Reptosaurian blow gunners. There we go. And then you've got your stats down there. See, now you roll different colored dice. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you? Let me just tip it so you're not getting light. So, you use two yellow dice to attack. You use one yellow die and one red die for uh, ranged attacks. They don't have any magic. And one blue die for defense. And then there's one for every hero in the group. And then there's special abilities and all of that. And then basically every, every uh, monster has some stats like that on there. This guy is another another warrior. Uh, what have we got here? Level three Reptosaurian agent. These guys are really tough. And uh, this one is the blow gunners, but he's level three. I'm assuming it's a he, which I probably shouldn't, considering the reptilians. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, whoop. Got a mosquito in here. Uh, this is a Reptosaurian warrior again. Oh, it's a mob, so he's not very high level, I suppose. And uh, Reptosaurian blow gunner level four. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm kind of curious. I had a blow gunner before. Reptosaurian blow gunner. So this guy is level one, and you can see he's got a one blue die for defense, one yellow die for attack, one red die 
for attacking range. No magic. So that yellow is less powerful. Red is the most powerful. Blue yellow's the least blue's the least powerful, I think. Yellow's next powerful and then red's most powerful. I believe that's how it goes. So this is a level four one. So this is this is what happens when they get to level four. What have we got here? We've got three yellow attack die, one yellow, two red for ranged, one blue, one green for defense. Oh yeah, I forgot there's green too. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, here's a here's a warrior, but he's level four. He's just a mob. Reptosaurian blow gunner again. Ooh, level five. All right, so let's check out. Level five is uh, two yellow, one red for attack, two yellow, two red for ranged, and then two blue and one green for defense. So they're really harsh on attack there, but they're not very good on defense. So you want to close in on them pretty quickly, I think. This is a Raptosaurian Warrior, level five. And then uh, Reptosaurus Rex. Ooh, lesser roaming monster. So these are the guys you really have to worry about in the game when they show up. These guys show up uh, levels 1, 2, and 3, I think, uh, for Wandering Monsters is when they'll show up. So he's got two red, two red attack dice and three blue for defense. So he's pretty tough. He's going to be hard to hit, hard to damage. And this is a Retrosaurus Rex, uh, greater roaming monster. So above, I think, its third level is... Uh, is where you see him. Now he's two yellow and two red to attack, one blue and two green for defense. So yeah, he's tough. Okay, I've got a mosquito biting my leg. Ha! <laughs> I got her. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so so those are the cards. But the the part I like the most here <laughs> about this game are the minis. Yeah, the minis sell me on this game a lot. So I will rip this open. And this is it. After after I open these things, I uh, I just use the uh, the box. I don't put them back in the cases anymore. I use a bag. So and with the plot, whoa, it's all crunched up for some reason. Let's see these. Oh man, yeah. See, I like these guys. I like these guys a lot. When I play D and D or and role playing games, stuff like that, I like. Well, I like to use minis, but I have a lot of paper minis. So what I use these guys for, and I'm sure you've seen if if you follow me on Instagram or. I don't know if I've shown in other videos, other pictures. I think I used to like to use these guys as. Uh, as. Uh, statues sometimes but these guys are neat I would actually pull these guys out in a combat so that's a Raptosaurian there's a whole bunch of these guys they're kind of neat huh I would it would be interesting to try and paint them I don't know how paintable they are being plastic minis but this guy's got two swords so he's pretty brutal looking yeah so that's that guy, and a, uh, I don't know what he is, maybe the a agent, I don't know, he looks pretty brutal. <laughs> another, uh, another bunch of these guys, and what do we got here, uh, two more of these, I think there's six of these guys, yeah, I think there's six, so. They're neat. These, that's, what, that's something I really like about this company. They do a good job on their minis. I mean, those are neat. Yeah, I like them. And then this guy, oh, he must be an agent. He's awesome. Holy crap. That guy's great. Look at that. And then back armor. Can't wait to play with this guy. I'll be using these maybe next week. Play Massive Darkness. My daughter's going to be in town. That's exciting. She likes Massive Darkness, so maybe she'll want to try playing this. And this guy, uh, I don't know what he is. He's the. Let's find the name for him because we got him. He's the Reptosaurus Rex. So he's this guy. 
What a great mini this guy is. Man, I want to I want to paint these. Boy, that's going to See if I paint them, then I have to worry about how I store them. <laughs> I could do a video about painting, though. That'd be kind of fun. Man, this guy's great. Look at this guy. He'd make a great statue. But a great bad guy. But uh, when you mix when you mix these minis, well, I find when you when you mix you know proper minis with not the paper minis aren't proper but you know what I mean when you mix them with paper minis it works but it does kind of break the experience a little bit for me I don't like mixing them up too much except like I say unless they're statues because that seems to work right but I've got so many of these now because I've been buying all these massive darkness things I might just be able to start playing with the minis oh this guy's a this guy you can see he's, he's got the blow uh, uh, Blowgun? Yeah. A whole bunch of these guys with blowguns. It's interesting. I never really thought of a blowgun as much of a threat. Unless there's poison in it, I guess. So there's six of these guys. I guess there's no point in doing... Showing you all six of them. Oh, and there's more than six. There's, uh... Twelve. Holy. Alright, there's a whole bunch of these guys. Twelve of them. They look like they're playing flutes. <laughs> Something like that, right? Yeah, so that's kind of neat. Eh? You get a lot of minis. That's what that's what I like about this. Eh? It kind of kind of justifies the price a little bit, right? Uh, just because you get so many minis and they're, they're fun. And I've got a bunch of other total darkness stuff, so or massive dark and total darkness. I don't even know what the blade game is. Can't can't listen to me. And then uh, yeah, so there we go. That's these ones. Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, I don't even bother putting them back in. The, I'll put them in like a bag later, but I just throw them in here. Can't be bothered. Heck with the plastic things, and I'll throw them in a bag. But it'll be neat to play these. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's the end of this video. So that was uh, Reptosaurians by C-M-O-N Enemy Box for Massive Darkness hmm. so yeah cool alright uh, I'm gonna do another one right now okay take care